we're working through all the stitches, well, all four of the stitches on the Burnett Funlock B42 cover stitch and chain stitch machine. And it is awesome. When you can have a dedicated machine always set up for one of these four stitches, it's super easy. Just slide your chair over, have that professional finish. So we've been working through all three needles with a three needle four thread cover stitch a narrow cover stitch, a wide cover stitch, and now a chain stitch. Now I will tell you that if it's been a while since I've sat at one of these machines, I sometimes have to just double check which of the needles I need to use for a chain stitch. So you can't just pick one of them, but you do need to use the center one. So the last stitch we actually did was the wide cover stitch. And so our center needle is actually not even in the machine right now. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and clip the two needle threads that are in here. I always recommend that you take off the threads that you are not using and then put on the one that you are using. So here is a, a couple things that the, the chain stitch can be used for. Number one, this could be like a soy machine stitch. So as you're doing any regular construction seams, this would be a great stitch to use. You can sew it and then you can decide if you like it or not. And if you don't like it, you just undo that last stitch on the back and take it out. Um, it's a great one to use as a decorative chain stitch as well, where we put a decorative thread in the looper, adjust the tension, especially if it's a thicker one, so it can be done. And then we sew upside down and it's a lot of fun to see what kind of fun, and it does, it gives you that fun little chain stitch, but it's a two thread chain stitch and it really looks sharp. So if you're looking for other ways, you do have a workspace, so you have the, an area where you can put the fabric through. So if you wanted a chain stitch down through the middle of fabric for embellishment, it's a great way to uh, use that stitch. Another great use of that stitch, and I've seen this a lot with long armors, Long armors, if you have a zippered leader, so if you do that, you have to sew the zipper onto each quilt and quilt back, and then you actually just zip the quilt onto your frame. Well, at the end, you have to remove the zipper leaders and a chain stitch is the best one to do. Then you're not just sitting and ripping along that long uh, piece. You just find that last stitch, undo it, boom, the chain stitch just disappears. It's a great way to do it. So I do know long armors who will just leave this machine set up for just the chain stitch and zip those leaders on and off like nobody's business. Super fun. So what I'm going to do is we've taken out our needle threader, not for the needle threader just yet, but because I can use the opposite end to catch the needles that I'm taking out. So let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna cheat just a little bit. I'm gonna actually lower down the presser foot because number one, that makes getting the right needle, which is the lowest one, out a little easier. So I'm gonna slide this up. The needle screws at the top are labeled C, D, and E. So the E I'm gonna loosen and take out completely. And then I do wanna make sure I always tighten up any screws I've loosened because they can wiggle loose. You don't want that to happen. Okay, the cheat part is, is I'm gonna take this needle, loosen it, this is the C needle, and I'm gonna slide it over. Now I don't usually do this because once you don't have any needles in the machine, two things, number one, did I actually get it up into the right position? I'll show you a way we can see that. And then next, did I get it high enough? I don't have any other needles to um, compare it to, but did you see how it kind of flipped up a little higher? I'm making sure it's all the way as high as it'll go. That's probably the one thing I've noticed as a troubleshooting thing with cover stitch machines is people don't get their needles all the way up and then they definitely don't make the right stitch. So if you're having any troubles after a needle change and it's been working just fine, make sure that your needles are all the way at their highest position. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly use my needle threader, slide that down in my single little one. So easy when there's no other needles there. But how can I tell if it is lined up in the center kind of bubble here? You notice each of the needles has a place where it goes down. Um, and if you're sitting right in front of it, you can see that it's lined up with the notch on the front. So I'm ready to stitch a chain stitch. Let's go ahead and stitch it uh, first from the top. Yes, because I'm gonna do it uh, from both sides here so you can see. And we can just go ahead stitch all the way down. Again, this machine is and will stitch 1,300 stitches per minute. And let's do this. Let's just go ahead and chain off 
because that is an option here. Um, you have to kind of be careful, but if you feel comfortable doing it, you can kind of go off the edge of your fabric. But look how pretty, I mean, well, look how pretty. It's a, it's a regular straight stitch. But on the back side, you get that fun look of a chain. So can you see if you put decorative thread in this, how it's gonna have that fun loop all the way around. So let me just go ahead, I'm gonna just slide this all the way underneath and oh, I'm gonna do it from the opposite side. So then my front side has that fun show. Yep, that's probably the one thing you have to remember is to flip your fabric over when you wanna chain stitch, uh, just so you get that look that you're after here. All right, so there's the fun, fun chain. So straight stitch, chain stitch, and then each of our, here we'll go this way, each of our different four stitches that we have done on this machine. So lots of places to use all of these. How wonderful it is that you now have a machine dedicated to just uh, be able to sit at, move the needles around to your different widths, depending on your fabrics, have professional looking hems and seams on any type of fabric. And boy, do those stretchy fabrics feel like they have been tamed when you have the ultimate stitch with a cover stitch or chain stitch machine.